Chemistry 101, Acids and Bases. In Chemistry 101, acids are defined as molecules that contribute hydrogen ions to solution. A hydrogen ion is a hydrogen atom that has lost its only electron. The stronger an acid, the more hydrogen ions that are donated to solution. The measure of hydrogen ion concentration is known as pH. pH is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. The smaller the pH, the more hydrogen ions in solution. The larger the pH, the fewer hydrogen ions that exist in solution. Bases are molecules that take up hydrogen ions from solution. Equal amounts of equally strong acids and bases neutralize each other, producing water and a salt. Chemistry 101, Oxidation Reduction Reactions. Chemistry 101 defines oxidation reduction reactions as chemical reactions involving the transfer of electrons. In the oxidation of iron reaction we studied previously, solid iron metal was oxidized, which means it lost electrons and oxygen was reduced, meaning it gained the electrons that iron lost. In this reaction, iron gives up three electrons to oxygen to form iron three oxide. Electricity is the movement of electrons. Since there is a movement of electrons from one substance to another in oxidation-reduction reactions, oxidation-reduction reactions are the basis of batteries. The oxidation and reduction reactions are separated from each other, and the transfer of electrons from the oxidation reaction to the reduction reaction are pushed along a wire or some other external pathway. In this way, chemical energy is converted to electrical energy. Oxidation reduction reactions can be reversed with the application of an external energy source in order to plate metals such as copper plating and gold plating. Chemistry 101, Thermochemistry. Chemistry 101 teaches thermochemistry, which describes the heat of reactions. In chemical reactions, energy is neither created nor destroyed. This is known as the law of conservation of energy. Some chemical reactions require a net input of energy, known as endothermic reactions. Others produce a net output of energy, known as exothermic reactions. Chemical cold and heat packs you buy in the pharmacy are examples of endothermic and exothermic reactions, respectively. Adding heat to a substance increases its energy. The particles move more with this added energy, which is measured as temperature. Sometimes, this heat is used to change the phase or state of a substance, such as melting ice. Different substances have different specific heats, meaning that they require different amounts of energy to raise their temperature. For example, water has a high specific heat. It takes a lot of energy to raise the temperature of water. This is why bodies of water tend to maintain their temperature. Metals have a low specific heat, meaning it doesn't take much energy to raise their temperature. I would much rather put my hand in a cup of water that was on the stove for five minutes than a metal object that was on the same stove. Chemistry 101, Rates of Reaction and Equilibrium. Chemistry 101 also teaches reaction rates and equilibrium. Reaction rate is a measure of the decrease in concentration of reactants, the left side of the balanced chemical equation, or the increase in concentration of products, the right side of the balanced chemical equation, over time. Reaction rate can be increased by increasing the concentration of reactants, increasing the temperature, increasing the surface area of the reactants, and through the addition of a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance which speeds up the rate of a reaction 
without being used up in the reaction. Enzymes are biological catalysts. Some chemical reactions are reversible. In such cases, when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction, the reaction is said to be in equilibrium. A system in equilibrium resists changes to its equilibrium state. This is known as Le Chatelier's principle. For example, if more reactants are added, the system will move to create more products. If more heat is added, the system will move to reduce the amount of heat. Chemistry 101 Stoichiometry A study of Chemistry 101 is not complete without a discussion of stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is the quantitative basis of chemistry. Chemical reactions occur on the atomic level, but we measure them on the macroscopic level. Assigning the value of one mole to any 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles of a pure substance. A mole of carbon contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms and weighs 12 grams. Whereas we cannot measure atoms because we cannot see them and they're just too small, we can measure 12 grams of carbon. Here we have a reaction of glucose, C6H12O6, with six molecules of oxygen to produce six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. In this reaction, one molecule of glucose reacts with six molecules of oxygen to produce six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water. Since we cannot see molecules, we can interpret this reaction in terms of moles. Remember that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles. In this case, one mole of glucose reacts with six moles of oxygen to produce six moles of each carbon dioxide and water. We can obtain the weight of a mole of any atom from the periodic table. Glucose, C6H12O6, consists of six moles of carbon, each weighing 12 grams, 12 moles of hydrogen, each weighing one gram, and six moles of oxygen, each weighing 16 grams. Therefore, one mole of glucose weighs 180 grams. By mixing 180 grams of glucose with six moles of oxygen, or six times two, because there are two atoms per every mole of oxygen molecule, times 16 grams, the mass of an oxygen atom, equals 192 grams of oxygen, we will generate six moles of each carbon dioxide and water. Chemistry is a quantitative science which requires dedicated study and practice. It is a worthwhile endeavor, as matter is the basis of all living and non-living things. Visit chemin10.com to learn more Chemistry 101 in easy-to-learn 10-minute videos with quizzes, forum, and live online tutoring. Learn Chemistry 101 with Chemin 10. Chemin10.com